Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of profits. Today, joined by Brett of Anomyces, checking out some more slice, but this time some hazy IPA, also from the anniversary, their two-year anniversary. This one is made in collaboration with a Short Throw Brewing Company. Never heard of these guys. But Excellent. they show no, I don't okay. stuff. <laughs> no, I won't even go there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, this is a collab called Fader Friends. It's a hazy double IPA featuring a cool hop combo of Galaxy Citra and Sabro Cryo on 8%. It looks like an 80s disco. It does, I love thing. it. Look at that, like the synth and everything, yeah. like, or the measure, measure, whatever. It's, yeah. It looks great. Slice artwork is it's some of the very best. Very 80s. <laughs> yes. But Slice artwork is some of the best artwork in the biz at the moment. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this pours out a very nice hazy looking color. I don't know. It feels like it's more hazy than slice it usually is, or what? I don't know. It's been a long time since we had hazy slice. It's maybe the same, but it is. It's not like know. that full on turkey gravy for sure. No, I, I I never feel like the beers have been. No, no, they never have. So it's not been like that crazy, mm -mm. crazy murky hop come as Joe says. But it looks <laughs> sounds nasty. It, it sounds real nasty, but yeah. it's nice. Look at that like golden orange, white head. Yeah. Let's check out the aroma. Oh yeah, yeah. it's super candy. Yeah. Uh, or candy like like yeah. the thing is like the yeast profile on, on sliced hazy IPAs are like they're so much like Skittles and Starburst. Yeah, and it's like yeah, orange Skittles and mango Skittles. Yeah, I'm totally getting that in here. Yeah. Sabro is really well intertwined with the rest of the beer. Like I'm getting whiffs of coconut. It's not you say something. It's too powerful and astringent, or just like it's too. Mm. I don't feel it's, like here in the aroma. No, it's not. No, I, I'm not. I've I don't think some, that's what my point was. Like, it's not too much. Yeah. I've had some Sabro, uh, Pale Ales, IPAs, all kinds of, yeah, hoppy beers with Sabro that where I think Sabro has been too dominating. Mm. I, I feel like it's a hobby you have to be very careful with. Yeah. Um, I'm getting almost like a yogurty vibe to this. Too. Yeah, I see like that. A, like peach melba. Or something. Yeah, or like mango yogurt. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely, man. It's really trouble. It's really juicy. It's yeah. like it's really juice bomby. Yeah. Like huge juice bomb. Not so crazy hop centric. Like it's big on just like candy, and also that yogurty juice profile. It almost mm. reminds me of dr smelling High Plains Drifter that Verdant did with the uh, Daya okay. way back. Wow, that's that's qu kind of a reference. Yeah, but it's so... just because I remember that was Peach Melba like. So maybe okay. that's it. But I'm also getting a slightly like a uh, herbal. Uh, yeah. Uh, like herbal or spicy slightly, galaxy. Yeah, sl yeah, slightly herbal, spicy, grassy character, but it's very much like in the back. Yeah, but, but definitely also a classic melon vibe from Galaxy here. Yeah. Overripe yeah. melon. It smells, it, really it smells good. juicy, slightly overripe. Yeah, let's try cheers. More dankness on the flavor than I expected. Yeah. And more sapro. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that really cool coconut. Oh, it's dry. It's pithy. It's actually the le the aroma indicates much more candy flavor. Like it's not that much on the flavor. No, but it's juicy. Yeah, it's juicy it, for it's sure. It's not super duper sweet and candy. No, but that's really nice. Yeah. Like, I like the candy profile on slice beers, but the slice beers has also never been like really, really sweet. Like in the hazy beers, like they've no. never been like these super crazy it, cloying it's, beers. It's just. To me and probably also to others, that candy character can become a bit mm -hmm. cloying or not cloying, but a bit you know off putting. Um, yeah, I think this is really good. There's a little bit of a gasoline dankness. I definitely think that it has like a slightly herbal, earthy yeah, yeah, touch. Totally. That that's like a, a, a Sabro Galaxy thing. I think so, but I think it's nice because it yeah, yeah. it it disrupts all the juice mm. even though like again it's like it, it is really but you feel like well you know it's almost like a, this almost like slightly chalky earthy kind of um, i don't know if it's chalky maybe but i i, I can see some earthiness but it, it's like i don't get that like that's the something i get more with galaxy than mm. i get with sabro at least when i've had sabro but it's like it's like this coconutty maybe creamy coconut coconut oily Thing, but yeah. with also some pineapple. I just think, yeah, I also get that. There's just like a, mm. that, that, that it has like a dryness and a spiciness to it that's almost slightly like, yeah, earthy and like minerally. Yeah. 
kind of. I can see that, but that's yeah, what you get from Sabro. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And slightly, yeah, just spicy. Um, it's definitely spicy. Yeah. And it's definitely also herbaceous. It's almost like lemongrass yeah. or something. Yeah, like that, exactly. Um, and and peppery. And yeah, it's like uh, Galaxy and Sabro together. That's a you know, <laughs> that's a couple that that will give you some interesting flavors. It has a little bit of that. Again, Starburst candy thing, but I think it's so much less than this one. This is much more hop centric mm -hmm. in, compared to other sliced beers, even though it smells more like this juicy uh, Skittles thing on the uh, aroma. Yeah. It's much more of like a hop centric IPA, which is awesome. It's like, again, it's a huge galaxy uh, Sabro bomb, but I don't think that either of the two is too much. It's almost like ci citrus holding both in check. Mm -hmm. It's got some dankness. What I love is that it's dry, but it's also juicy. So it's like, it's not one of these crazy overcharged, overripe, too sweet juice bombs. Um, yeah. But it's not as bright and hop centric as say electric or uh, monkish. It's definitely more towards juice compared to those. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, I'm getting some peachy vibes too. Again, that peach melba, almost peach melba mm -hmm. yogurt. Um, some kind of a little bit of that candy vibe too. And then also just like some nice tropical fruitiness. There's like pineapple, maybe almost like grilled pineapple because it's got like a little bit of a sweeter thing. Yeah, because it's not like really fresh pineapple. I feel mm -hmm. like it's slightly overripe mm -hmm. and also like sweet orange. Mm -hmm. 93, 94, something like that. Really good haze. Uh, it's not world class for me, but again, I, you know, I really like slice haze approach. But for me, what they always, you know, excel at is... Uh, is the West Coasters. But I think actually this is one of the better hazy beers I've had from Slice. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this is, maybe it also has to do with freshness, but mm. yeah, I feel like it's a bit more well-balanced. Yeah, than, it's uh, definitely also fresher than yeah. a lot of the others. But some of, some of the other New England uh, IPAs from uh, Slice have been a bit more sweet and a bit more unbalanced, but yeah, again, it could be a matter of, yeah, of yeah. Uh, freshness. I mean, this is only 12 days. This is the freshest we've ever had slice. Yeah. So, yeah. At least uh, uh, New England. Mm -hmm. I think um, while we nugs was the same age, we had that really fresh too, which yeah. was fucking crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I probably agree. Like 93, 94. Mm -hmm. It's, if it for to hit world class, I just like a little more hop saturation, maybe, and you know, I don't know, something like that. Like it's super well balanced, really drinkable. It's, it's really well, really well drinkable, super well balanced, really drinkable IPA. Mm. But I don't know if it's just saturation I want more of, or what it is. Like I think maybe more dankness too would be nice. Like it's like where I get really fired up about IPAs and when they have like these all bright, singy, dank, cushy, crazy, like yeah, almost West Coast vibrant vibe. flavors. Yeah, West Coast vibes. And this has a little bit of it, but there is, it's not like, it's not like a ton, but that makes it really well balanced because it kind of strikes a balance with these kind of flavors and then all that juicy kind of stuff, which is also really nice. Mm. But it, it truly might be one of the better hazy IPAs I've had from, from Slice really. And it's just, yeah, super drinkable. But man, like, I, th I think the best slice beer we've had this year has probably been Wowie Nugs. Yeah. And they're probably the best and West Coast IPA we had. Yeah, but also the Hippie Cabbage. The hippie Cabbage, yeah, that yeah. was fucking insane. Yeah, those two are the best ones. Yeah, I think. And Kind Buds, but you didn't try that one. No. That was also fucking crazy. Mm. But uh, yeah, if you guys love IPAs, Slice is a beer brewery to look for. Especially if you love West Coast IPAs. They also do great haze. I mean, this is fucking awesome haze. But if you want to try their approach to West Coast, and I can't preach it enough, you should. Because they do it so well. So, if you guys had a chance to try Slice, and also, of course, Short Throw Brewing Company. They also need a shout out for this, because they played a part in making this beer. And uh, it's really good. So, if you guys had a chance to try their collab, Fader Friends for the Slice two year anniversary, let us know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And we're going to say cheers. Yeah, cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.